SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about this video. Glad you guys could tune in. Uh, once in a while, we report really, really good news, and I want to celebrate that here. Something that hits home literally for myself. And uh, I, I'm excited to bring this news to you. Uh, before I get going with the video, uh, do me a favor. If you have been watching but have not subscribed, do that now. Take that opportunity to become a member of the SMT Nation and then turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. All right, so Cleveland has some pretty rough connectivity deficiencies. One of the stats I found is that one in every three homes doesn't have a smartphone or connected internet. And if that's not a digital divide, I don't really know what one is. All right, Digital C company is targeting full coverage of Cleveland over the next five years with an additional goal of connecting up to 40,000 of Cleveland's 50,000 unconnected households by 2024. They've got a five-year public-private uh, partnership with a $70 million budget Digital C is raising over $20 million from private donors and expects to rely on public sector funds for the remainder of that $50 million. Nokia, Microsoft, C-Clue, and Ubiquity are all helping a nonprofit wireless, uh, wireless ISP, Digital C in this case, as it leverages federal funds and private donations to subsidize broadband service and infrastructure deployment. The CEO of the company, of, of uh, Digital C, says we've got four different ways that we're connecting households with this last mile. Uh, the big one here is this Nokia solution I'm going to describe. Full layer of LTE over CBRS. I love CBRS. We've talked about it on my channel for commercial networking, mobile network operators like Verizon. Here it is being used in this private networking sense. All right, so Nokia is providing the private wireless network for fixed wireless access, a model the vendor says could be a blueprint for other communities working to bridge the digital divide. The deployment includes an LTE network core, the radio units, indoor and outdoor customer premise equipment, which digital C employees and end users are installing themselves. So the network is going to actually leverage CBRS using the GAA or general access. That's the unlicensed spectrum, no cost associated for the spectrum access. And they're going to be selling the internet for $18 per month, uh, 50 megabits per second downlink. Uh, the company saw its subscriber base go from 80 to 100,000 accounts as federal dollars started to subsidize their connectivity using CBRS. The goal is to go from worst to first, according to the CEO of the company. Local school districts assist with funding for devices, including LTE-enabled Chromebooks uh, and other nonprofits, I believe, are helping with other device uh, issues for households with school children. So some people are getting access paid for by private companies, uh, subsidizing internet access in Cleveland or through the EBB program. So this is big time. Additionally, uh, Digital C is also using ubiquity rooftop access points for line of sight connections, millimeter wave mesh networking, uh, like below tree canopies, hallway access points, and multi-dwelling units, right? So apartments and such. This is pretty darn cool. I love CBRS. I love it for the unlicensed. I love it for the licensed mobile network operators, private networking, stuff like this. This is incredible. I'm very happy about this. Be on the lookout of this happening for you in your neck of the woods. And if it does, reach out to me, email to me, send me the links to the articles when they do this. I'd love to know more about projects like this. This is a great thing to celebrate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this article and let me know what you think of this development. I love to see this leveraged in this way, getting people connected. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe for more content and turn on that bell notifications. Never want to miss an upload. Follow us on Twitter. Check out the Patreon page. My email's in the link uh, down in the description as well. All those links are there. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.